Hello guys, the next video is on the reflex klystron. Uh, reflex klystron is an oscillator. It produces the oscillations that are of frequency of microwave. So it's a microwave oscillator. Right. And reflex klystron is a single cavity klystron. There is in the two cavity klystron there were the two cavities and in that is a single cavity and the power output is 10 to 500 megawatt actually power output and the efficiency is very less in these reflex cluster so it is used for the low power purposes like in laboratories in for microwave measurements in our college labs and in our school labs or in microwave receivers as a local oscillator it can also be used in doppler radars as or in missiles also so reflex cluster is used as an oscillator but for low power devices right for high power devices in for that one industries when we use a microwave uh, oscillator we use the magnetron Wo, that will be doing that we will be doing in the next video so let's start with the working of reflex cholesterol so this is the basic structure of this uh, reflex cholesterol for the working for nuts i'll show you the main diagram also so this is the electron gun this is the electron gun, right? This is the electron gun from where electron will be emitted and there is a potential difference between this and this so the electron will get emitted. And this is a cathode. This is also a negative potential electrode. This is also a cathode. And this one is anode. Here the cavity, one cavity is act as anode because here the potential is positive. Right? So here the cavity gap voltage is this V1 sin omega t it's a voltage in the cavity through which we will get the velocity modulation because we need the velocity modulation and for the velocity modulation we need one accelerating and deaccelerating voltage no so what will happen and these are the focusing magnets so what the focusing magnets do they produce the thin beam they do not let the electrons uh, spread it like this right so the working of the reflex crystal is same as that two cavity crystal the only difference is i'll tell you is that when the electron go from here right their velocity is that when v naught is equal to 2 e this voltage v naught by m but what will happen here this velocity will be modulated by this velocity to clearly understand that reflex stone please watch that previous video you can also understand this from this video also but you will get better understand from that previous video so it will get modulated what uh, from this v1 sin omega t this v1 sin omega t is like this and my v0 is like this so when the electrons uh, get the accelerating field they'll get accelerated and when the electron get in a dxl they get deaccelerated so there is a velocity modulation so what happened some electron will reach the cathode at the greater velocity and some reach the cathode at the slower velocity and some reach the cathode at the normal velocity and this is the cathode and the electrons are going there will, will it accept it no it will repel it so the main amplification or main oscillation uh, happens here when there is a retarding field of this voltage what is the retarding field when there is a retarding field of this voltage then these bunches why the bunches are formed because when it reflect some electrons are high accelerated some electrons are lower so bunches will be formed these bunches will reach in the cavity and these bunches must reach in the cavity when there is a deaccelerating field when there is a deaccelerating field and the heavy bunch of electron reaches here these electron get deaccelerated because of the deaccelerated field and these electron loses their energy so where it loses their energy it gives energy to the field and field get this field get more m this this uh, the f the gap which i was applying here was not of frequency of microwave i have to generate the microwave frequency so to generate the microwave frequency uh, we have to increase the frequency and amplitude also so what we'll do it will it will reach that uh, the bunches will reach in the cavity with the period with the frequency of the microwave right it will reach the cavity it will reach the 70 cavity at the 
microwave frequency so for example uh, it will reach at one second then at four second then at seven seconds like this right so these uh, a bunch of electron will lose their energy to the field inside the cavity and then we will take the output from here so i'll show you one main diagram see the electron beam injected from the cathode is first velocity modulated by this cavity gap voltage this is the cavity gap voltage like this so electron beam is accelerating during this voltage deaccelerating during this accelerated during this deaccelerating during this right so when these accelerated and deaccelerated their velocity will get changed so they'll reach the some electron will reach at higher velocity but they will get repelled at higher velocity some reach at lower they will get a lower velocity so they get bunched so these bunched electron must must be reaches during the retarded half cycle right during the retarded half cycle when these reaches during the retarded half cycle what will happen it will give up their kinetic energy to the electromagnetic energy of the field in the cavity right and the output will be taken from the cavity and the electrons are finely collected by the walls of the cavity right this wall are connected by the walls of the cavity and this is how the reflex cluster works so do subscribe like subscribe our channel like our videos and the next video will be upon the magnetron so please be in touch with us to get the more uploaded videos and if there is any problem please do comment in the comment section thank you